boys. I got the GMMK Pro. So, mechanical keyboards. Specifically, custom mechanical keyboards. Probably one of the worst hobbies on the internet because it's like an addiction. If you got yourself in, it's pretty hard to get yourself out. When you're going into this hobby, probably means that you realize that the most gaming keyboards out there, like the ones from Razer and from Logitech or even from Corsair, they're gonna feel like keyboards that do keyboard things. And I feel the same. <laughs> what is my first keyboard? My first mechanical keyboard I have right here is the Rock Lamont Pro. It's uh, here, Rock Lamont Pro. And it's decent for the price. It's my first mechanical keyboard. I love the hell out of it. So much that I uh, modded the stabilizers out of it, made it feel good. And I prefer it more than those cheap keyboards out there. And even gaming keyboards out there, like ones from Corsair or Logitech. Or Razer, probably. So, why am I talking about gaming keyboards? Or custom mechanical keyboards? Well, as you've seen from the intro, I got a goddamn keyboard, which is the GMMK Pro from Glorious. <clears throat> So what are we working on here? This is not my keyboard. This is someone else's keyboard. I don't own a GMMK Pro. If I were, I'll change the goddamn keycaps. <laughs> I hate the profile of the key keycaps, by the way. This is my first impression of the GMMK Pro. I'm gonna say it. It feels good. It looks good. It has weight. Built better than the Rockman Pro that I have right here. But there's one problem, and that is the stabilizers. When you're gonna name something gold stabilizers, I expect it to be the fucking gold. Instead, it's a fucking mess. Like a shit of a goat. Like. What? Okay, so first things first, the gold stabilizers are prelude. The spacebar has rattle. Which means it has not enough lube. Okay, that's fine. However, the shift, the left shift, the enter key, and the backspace have too much lube. It has too much lube. My... Uh, uh, just show the clip. Just show the clip. Uh, you see the enter key? Hold this. Uh, sorry. Hold it. <laughs> you see that? What the fuck? It's not supposed to do that, but if it, look, it's fucking weird, man. It was weird. No, uh, oh, man, it's fucking iffy, man. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, man. That needs some milk. Oh, that needs some milk, man. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. So, yep, that's the GMMK Pro, the first impressions. Stabilizers. So, without further ado, we went- No, 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 not yet. We're gonna do the sound test. How you, why you forgot to do the sound test, man? Play the sound test. Oh 
Okay, we're done with the sound test. Now let's continue with the video. We're gonna do a lot of time this goddamn stabilizers. Fuck it. <sighs> well, time for uh, some time naps or whatever. Yep. Shit sucks. I say so myself. Okay, time to bag lube the springs. I have one that is still not yet modified so that I can see the effect of the lube. So yeah, I'm gonna bag lube all these springs and also I'm gonna, after that I'm just gonna throw, disassemble this switch as well. And yeah. So while this time lapse is playing or this uh, speed up of the video is playing, I'm gonna men go back to before I disassembled the keyboard because I mentioned the loop that I used for the springs and for the switches in general. And also show basically this minor mistake that I did, which is, uh, well, I'm gonna explain it. So we're gonna use this and this. We got Crytox. 205, no not 205, this is 105, this is oil from for the springs, from this is from uh, squishy, squishy types. types, yeah. Baka naman, <laughs> baka naman. And then we got here 205G0, yes, and I'm gonna use this, actually I already used this on this keyboard. No throttle whatsoever, and I'm gonna do a uh, thing called the holy mod, we're gonna, I'm gonna show it later, right now. And this is also from Squish Types. Baka awesome. naman. Baka naman. <laughs> yep. Baka naman. So, like I said, I use 205G0 as my lube for the switches. And you might ask, hey, what's wrong with the lube that you use? Well, apparently, they are preferable for linears. But for tactiles, it's actually for 204 or 203. Due to the fact that 205 is viscous more viscous than 204, 203, so it can get a bit mushy or for the tactiles. It's fine for linears, but it can get mushy or remove the, the tactility of the tactile switch that I have here. Anyway, the switches that I'm lubing here is the Glorious Pandas. So that's why I'm kind of saying that it's a mistake, but I did my best job at being careful and trying to not over lube the switches. Anyway, back to the time lapse. up I mean I lube all the switches I guess yeah and I also already cleaned the stabilizer at first after cleaning the stabilizers removing the pre-lube that came comes with it I was like oh it sounds fine 
And then I put in my own Gateron Reds. As you can see right here on this. And uh, it rattles. Now, I haven't screwed this in. I only screwed the stabilizers. Everything is just, uh, you know, so it's not uh, an accurate depiction. Wait, let me just uh, move for a bit. Move this away. Anyway, so I put in my Gateron Reds, as you can see right uh okay. As you can see right here, uh, I move the space bar. I put in my Gatheron Reds instead of the uh, tactiles here, the, the Glorious Pandas. And now I hear the rattle. As I found out, tactiles are kind of good on hiding, ta on hiding uh, rattle, I guess. Yep. Just rattle. I mean, it's uh, the, the whole case is wobbly, but... The rattle's there. Now it's better than it was before because when I pressed enter last time, when I hold down enter, it will just like stop there. It means it has too much lube. Like or like it's just, it's disgusting. It was so disgusting. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna I already clean this. I might actually clean this a bit more. There's some lube stuck in. And after that I'm gonna do the holy mod on these. And lubing with uh, Kartox 205G0 once again. And hopefully it improves on the stabilizer department. Lock. Woo. Woo. Yes. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, my God. It's wonderful. So what's the typing experience after lubing the switches and re-lubing the stabilizers? To be honest, it's probably one of the best typing experiences I've ever 
fucking head. After lubing, re-lubing the stabilizers, which is the only thing I really hate about the GMMK Pro, it was wonders. It was worth all the effort that I had. Thank God I did it. It is so hard, it's so difficult, and also time consuming, but the ends uh, justify the means, I guess. Whew. It was awesome. I'm gonna close this out. I guess uh, I have nothing much to say. It was a really good keyboard. Just do yourself a favor, find someone who is really good at this and loop lube the key lube the stabilizers or lube it yourself learn it i'll add some links down in the description on all the videos i've watched about the gmmk pro including reviews uh doing some modding like lubing the switches lubing stabilizers specifically the holy mod that i'm being mentioning but i didn't really explain that much because i am not good at explaining and also i'm gonna put down the links on where I buy the lube. So if you can see before in the in early in, in the video that Squishy Types is the company or the name, the brand, I guess. It's not, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by the way. But they are the lowest price that I've seen on Shopee. So I'm gonna put it on the link down below. And I think that's it. Um, Probably like this video, share it to your friends and family or whatever. Uh, comment down below for some uh, suggestions and maybe if you want, comment down if you want a review of the Rock Lamang Pro, which I've been using for like seven months. And that's pretty much it. Uh, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for uh, future updates or future videos. And as always, see you guys on the next video. Peace.